guys, hey, it's Death Spider again. Um, later on in this video, you're going to see me start the video saying this is the beginning of episode 5, but I've changed my mind. We're actually going to make this the beginning of episode 5. And we're going to go over getting our stamina up. So currently, if you look down to the lower right, you can see that we're at 100 stamina. So to increase our stamina, we first need to build a uh, food prep table. So we'll get it out really quick. And that's going to be hit I, go to the book, go to placeables, food, and then just select the food prep table. It's going to be two logs and ten planks. So it's going to get us some planks together. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two logs. Now I guess we can go ahead and load this up a little bit. Keep those planks on hand at all times. And here we go. Get the food prep table going. So this is the food prep table, if no one's built it yet. Alright, so with that, we also already have cans on us. So you can make these from aluminum, or you can find them in the villages. So we'll head out here. Come to our garden. Well, first let's see what food we have on us. So we already have some melons on us. What we will do with these is drop them on the ground like we do the fish. Right click and then harvest. And then we're going to need some watermelon. So when you take things out of the garden, you just um, harvest it and then hit E again and go ahead and replant the seed. Because as you can see right now it's raining, so it'll replant everything. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest a few more just so they'll start growing. And then we'll come back out here and pick the other ones up manually. You got to get the winds in where you can, guys. You get the winds in when you can. Alright, so then we're going to go to the food prep table. We need to be quick or we're going to lose stuff. So one melon, one watermelon, one can. Gives us fruit salad. One can, and that's all. Right click to move one item at a time. We'll craft that. Then we need some more watermelon. So we're going to go out here and grab it before it disappears, hopefully. Let's see how much we can hold. Alright. And again, alt right click, one of each. And then just hit craft. And you don't need a ton of cans to do this. Let's see, we still have one left. Because you'll get the cans back when you eat. So we'll go ahead and eat these. So we, stamina's currently at 100, and we'll get one extra stamina per fruit salad, and that's permanent. You will not lose that on death. And as you see here, we got our cans back. And we're now at 105 stamina. So we'll go ahead and get the rest of these up. Hopefully that leaves us some room. Yeah, we'll make some room real quick. And it's a little time consuming, but it's totally worth it um, once you get your stamina up. Let's see, can I rearrange this? Nope. Very well done game. I will do the best I can with what we got. So we'll grab some more melons. And this is going to be really helpful because the last village I have to raid is all the way across the map on the lower side. And let's just go ahead and grab all of these again while it's raining so the crops get watered and it can go ahead and start regrowing. This is also a good thing to make too for storing in your house. Because, or it's not in your house but in your refrigerator when you get one because it doesn't take up as much space. And it, I mean, it, it, it takes up one slot um, in the refrigerator, but at least it's worth a lot. And we'll see how much of this we can get. Let's see, alt right click, one of each. Oh, I put two on there, my bad. A little zealous, a little bit overzealous. Trying to make sure I get the most out of my resources. And we'll go ahead and eat these. And let's go pick up the pieces. Let's see. Give me the melons, 
Probably can't use you all, but I will take you anyways. If I can't use you, I'll eat you. And that puts us up to 112. Oh, I see you. I see you. Doing that now. You don't stand a chance, girl. You don't stand a chance. Alright, so we'll just wait on that to regrow, guys, and we'll be ready to harvest that stuff up again and get uh, our stamina even higher. I don't know if we have room to store more copper. As you see, I've been gathering up quite a bit of ore, just letting everything run. So we'll put it over here with this cobalt. Get ready for a really, really big smelting day. And I do believe that is all that we need currently. We'll go ahead and eat this just to get out of the inventory. And then I will see you guys in a minute. We're, um, like I said, later on this video, we're going to head over here. I've already done the recording, so I'm just going to throw it behind here. Um, and raid this village and then the final part will be raiding this village down here and that will give us all of the blueprints so I'll see you guys in a minute alright guys welcome back uh, this is Death Spider again we're gonna call this episode 5 I believe and from here we're gonna go ahead and clear this village as you know we on the last episode we just cleared this one and we got four blueprints we got the uh, fridge the lamp blueprint, the oil extractor, and the chemistry table. So we're going to clear this one out, and then uh, the second part of this video will probably be clearing this vi this village. And we'll probably call that it for this episode, and then six we'll go into advanced crafting, as we should have all the schematics by then. Uh, for this base prep for it, I went ahead and just built a remote base here, next to this pond, just like I did at uh, this location here. Uh, we've been doing pretty good on ore. I need to go check the other mineral extractors once we finish here and get some more uh, biofuel and stuff made up. But we should have a pretty good supply of cobalt and iron and copper and aluminum. So with that said, let's go ahead and get to clearing this place out. So again, make sure you check all the bookshelves on the tables, uh, pretty much anywhere where stuff can just be laying. So let's see, we got some seeds here, some more food. Um, da, 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 da. What do we have? We got some fat over here. And if I were wondering and wanted to check blueprints, you can come here to your inventory screen by hitting I. Click on the cogwheels, and it'll show you the blueprints that you currently have. If you find uh, three to, f you should find three to four per village. So, like I said, make sure you keep up with what village you found them at in case you are missing something. So you can always go back and uh, check the ones, but you can write off the ones that you found four blueprints in. Alright, so we got some fish oil, some fat, mechanical parts, always good. Ready to get some power going, guys. Alright, some more dry bricks. I will definitely take that. So, uh, let me double check, make sure I was paying attention. I didn't see any blueprints in this house, so we'll go ahead and open the doors so we know we've been here. Ooh, take that can. I didn't realize I missed a whole room. And we got company coming. Get a bow out. Alright. And nothing to it. Alright, that's the first house that's done. Get my crate over here. Like I said, I always bring a crate because you see how much space and weight you're going to have. And this one's almost full already. And we've only done the one house. Let's see. Ooh, some copper ore. Always nice. And what do we have in here? Hmm. So far, this building's looking pretty empty. Lots of dry bricks. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely put those in the crate because they their weight adds up pretty quickly. So 
med kits. Hope I'm not missing anything important yet. Or ever. <laughs> right, these houses, I feel like when there's a second floor, is usually has a blueprint in it. Will this be the first one that I have found that does not? I'm really hoping we get the advanced workbench so we can make bone arrows and some other stuff. Hmm. Well, this house was a little bit of a letdown. I didn't see any blueprints, and I felt like it was fairly empty. Alright, well, we will reopen the doors and uh, get back to it. Any space? Probably, probably not. Might be another time of dropping some fish oil that we don't need. All right, so we did these two houses, right? Yeah. Come over to the small one, check around it, make sure there's nothing we want on the outside. Yeah, we got more seeds. Oops, more small food. Mechanical parts, seeds, seeds, seeds for days. I don't know what we're going to do with all the seeds. Plant them, grow us a beautiful garden, I suppose. Bark chips. And that looks like that's all for this building. Alright, now that I'm getting turned around. Those are the two should be cleared. All right, I did clear you, maybe? Yes? Yes. Let's hope for better luck in here. Plant fiber is just what we needed, right? No, not quite. Um, I will take those electrical components. Those are very nice to have. Kind of expensive to make. A little bit time consuming. By the time you do the plastic and the copper. Come on, blessed game. Give us some blueprints, please, and thank you. Plastic. Definitely going to take that with us. And iron ore for days. Biofuel, always handy to have. Hmm. Being stingy, game, you're being stingy. Of course, I think that's the way it went on the first village, right? Uh, we pretty much explored the whole thing. And like the last couple of houses, five houses or whatever, had everything in it. It's been kind of quiet on the Vanby front here, too. Oh wow, can't stack any of this? Okay. Official, you're probably about to go bye bye for reals. Alright, then we head over here to the big house. Trying to keep my orientation somewhat sane. And they love giving us seeds, don't they? The big bookshelf, anything good? No? So I might almost be worth it just to grab you a, a bow and some spears and head on over and start looting the villages right off the bat. I really don't need all this glass. The glass is like the cheapest resource in the game. Oh yeah, real quick, I, uh, well it's on my mind, we go over this real quick too. So if you're on the 
options menu sorry for the brightness and you hit escape you'll notice everything still moves around you can just hit escape again and then apply or OK to close the screen and you'll be able to move again just remember who got stuck and couldn't get their mouse to work I don't remember if I covered that in the earlier videos or not same thing if you throw a spear or use a bow sometimes it'll lock you out just hit escape and then close it back out and it will get your mouse back to working well we're definitely gonna have enough cans we can finally get our stamina start start making it grow again get it up to 200 might do that before we go to the next village just make traveling a lot easier and fighting because you know you have to back up sometimes and if that slow stamina will get you that's why my hit points though I had a bear get on me on the way here let's see Another empty home. Some tallow. Oh, and I'm overweight. So definitely, definitely gonna get rid of this fish hole just to get our weight down. I'd prefer not to make a thousand trips. Let's see, what can I stack? Anything? Anybody want to stack anywhere? Alright, oh, goodbye fish hole, you are the weakest link. Bark chips, y'all can go away too. We just... We don't need you. Store all the ore and stuff first, because it's heavy. Alright, alright, where are you at? Always behind me. Anything good? Uh, some copper fragments. Okay. Wow, we still got quite a few houses left here. We got some Kevlar. Hopefully, we'll get enough Kevlar from here too. We can go ahead and make the. Well, we have to find the loom blueprint first so much to do like we need the loom really bad too so advanced workbench and loom if we could get both of those here that would be amazing for progress um, come on guys gotta, gotta give me something give me a blueprint we'll just leave the fish oil there Seeds. Where are the blueprints? Are y'all hiding them from me? Did y'all run to the village before? Oh, there we go. Here's one finally. Let's see what we're going to get. First, grab everything else. I am definitely happy about all the cans. Now I don't have to make cans. I just need to make a the aluminum canteen or flask or whatever it's called. All right, what do we have? We wind turbine blueprint. Always going to have, but it's not going to do us any good until we get the advanced workbench. And uh, that's my pizza, guys. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I thought it was going to take like an hour or two, but they got it really fast. All right, so we just got the wind turbine. This building should be pretty clear then. Okay, open up our doors. Hmm. So what can we store into the crate? All right. Mm hmm. Now that I'm all turned around, we should have come from those. Got that one. I'm pretty sure we looted that one. So we've got that one. Oh my God. One, two, three. At least four houses left right here. Five maybe. Yeah. Good times. Do I need some loot? <laughs> Tempted just to raid the houses and get the blueprints in one trip. Whatever I can't carry, I just won't worry about. Cause 
because I can get ore and stuff elsewhere. All right, I'm kind of getting all off the beaten path. That's how you start missing stuff. But we got plenty of bones and tons of other good things to get us through. I still have yet to see a blueprint in the attic area, so I don't know. Oh, now we're overweight. We don't have anything we can eat. Tons of fish. What are we doing on water? We got 60 water. Eat a little bit of this to lose some weight. Get a little drink. Gotta get your drink on. <laughs> what do we got? Bart chips. I'll have to pass on those. And of course the fish oil. Don't have any houses on the hill, please. Please, please, please. I know there's a metal building on the other side we we'll have to go check out. And uh, back to the crate. Right, so yeah, 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 I'm definitely getting turned around. Copper ore, yeah, definitely gonna get weighted down in a minute, but I'm greedy. I want all the all the loot. Ooh, what do we have here? Advanced workbench. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now if they'll give me the loom, we're going to get something done. Let's see. Biofuel. Cloth. Some oil. Wait, is that it? Uh, is this like a one-story house? Okay. Cool, cool. Walk out back. See what we got. What is? It's like a can of sardines. <laughs> Who wants to go into the crate? Anybody? Everybody? Already see it. It's gonna be three for here, so that should be probably all that's in this village. And this is gonna be solar battery tech. So the game definitely wants us to go visit the other village. They said, "Nah, bro, you can't have what you want. You better put it on your other wish list." Little bandages, plant fiber, copper ore, water Malone seeds. Our fuel for days, which is good because I need to fill some stuff up. Tallow bandages. And uh, what else we got? Ooh, yes, thank you. All right. Open up all these doors. This bad boy is cleared. And we're starting to get heavy. Hmm. Could probably swap the seeds out for some of this ore. Because the seeds are lighter and stackable. Always a good idea. Just to allow us to carry some more stuff. Remember watermelon seeds. And then we can get rid of the plant fiber too when we need to. And I believe our next house to hit is going to be this one. The 
I feel like I'm going in circles. Some more seeds, more bandages, some fat. Hear a bear outside. He can just stay right where he's at. Fish oil, we don't need that. Kevlar, yes. I don't have the room. I don't have any room for the bone. Say it ain't so. Nope. This one was. Nope. We made it. Glass. But I actually have to go away in a minute if you keep filling up my inventory. We've got electrical parts up here. We've got iron. What are we? What can we? Get? We can get rid of the coal. Or actually, we'll get rid of the glass. Not the glass is useless, I just, I don't really need it. Let me see, can I rearrange? I guess I can go throw everything in the crate and we should be good to go in space. I know guys, I'm being a hoarder, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna close this door just in case Mr. Bear gets unhappy and decides to come in and hang out. I, mean, he, I don't think he can get through that door actually, but uh, you never know. Alright, electrical parts, and what do we got over here? Another bone, another potato seed. And we will open the doors, even though it might get me killed. House is done, headed to the next one. Let's see, what are we gonna be blessed with? Ah, okay. This is like my house. It's like how I live. I like to keep it uh keep things simple. And this is uh pretty simple right here. We got no furniture here. I guess uh maybe we could live in this village, maybe we could build like our workbenches and stuff in here. An official on the porch. Be kind of cool. Trash everywhere. Glad we already found three blueprints, or I'd be scared that there was a blueprint in there that's just missing. Okay, so those should all be cleared, right? I believe this one's cleared as well, but we won't know for sure. Yep. Alright, so this block is done. Let's check on this back one. I think we did it already. I did do that one in the back, right? Yeah, because that should be the empty house. Alright. Doors are wide open. That means we're cleared there. So we're going to run up the hill. I think it was over here that I saw the uh, metal buildings. Need to set this crate down and fight this person real quick. Where are you? I see you coming this way, Sheila. We're gonna play your games. I, I know for a fact I saw metal, metal buildings on one of these hilltops. Where are you? Might have to turn foliage down for just a second to. Oh, there we go. Little industrial complex over here. And we'll save some stamina, hopefully, because last time we came to one of these, we got attacked by like five zombies at once. I see one already. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see two. Let's go ahead and see what they want. Anybody else want a tango? Oh, I see another one. Go and grab my arrow if you don't mind. Yeah, just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and I'm dead. So anybody who didn't play the game before the last update, this is kind of what it used to look like. It was a bunch of tents and warehouse buildings like this. Instead of the villages. 
Now, with my luck, we'll probably find a lot of good stuff floating around out here that I want to take back. Especially since I'm greedy. Ooh, floating items. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Mr. Ghost. We appreciate you and what you do for us. Always try and put your stuff away because you don't like it again. You do not want to be overweight. Especially if you need to run away for a second. And so we some animal bone, and clay, and do -do -do -do. tallow. More seeds, all the seeds in the planet. I still don't believe that I have found any. We're going to drop this glass real quick. Any um, blueprints in one of these yet? Maybe that'll change on the next village. Because I think this one's pretty much cleared out at this point. Oh, um, is there another? Yeah, there's another big building there. I, I, I hear you. Where are you at, angry, angry fan beware? Did that barely get close enough to aggro you when you went somewhere? Or what? Okay, okay. I'll fight you in a minute then. We'll do this on your schedule. Piece of cab where is I have no idea where they're at. It's gonna be really nice. Oh, oh my god, you shit the hell out of me. Where did you even come from? Alright, take a little bit of bleed damage. Go ahead and drop a band-aid on it. She gave us some fat. Don't know why they want to jump scare us like that, but hey. And yeah, I know it's getting dark, guys. We're on the last building now, and then we'll be headed back. And then we'll go to the next village, and that'll be, like I said, the second half of this video. We'll be clearing it, and that should give us the rest of our blueprints. And what do we have here? Coal. Empty can, plastic. All in all, it's been a seems like it's been a pretty worthwhile trip, I would say. Yeah, I'll pop a save real quick in case something happens, and then I'll see you guys in a minute once I get back uh, to the base and then across the map to loot the next village. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're over here at the last village. I'm getting the final blueprints. So I'm going to go ahead and start working through here. We're going to do this with just one crate, so some stuff might get left behind. But I am not making that run back down here again for, for a while if I can help it. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first house. What do we have? Nothing. Yeah, don't watch nothing. Okay. And I can't pick that up. Weird. No, my inventory is. Oh, my food's probably full. Do we need to eat anything? I should probably eat something. Let's see, we got watermelon. Yeah, I came fully stocked up on food and supplies, so we should be good for a while. So let's just knock this one out. And. As y'all know, you'll pretty much know everything by now. Just uh, slowly make your way through, don't miss anything. I uh, prioritize what you loot, like anything like bar fuel. Again, if you get stuck on the stairs, just jump over them. But yeah, when they get, you want to get the mechanical parts, the electrical parts, plastic, anything that's time consuming to make. Uh, as much ore as you can carry. Like bark chips, we can just chunk those. Spoiled food, we can chunk it if we need to. Alright, looks like this house is almost cleared. Step around the corner here. Or is it... There we go. Oh, I hope we got through the clear. My bad. I thought there was like another big room or something. 
let's see. For now, we'll just chunk it all in the crate, move our crate by pressing the uh, N key. See, I went ahead and ate food, guys, and I'm all energized now, so I can uh, get through here pretty quickly. Keep thinking I hear something. Some iron fragments. And this village should finish off all the blueprints. And then we can get to doing some real crafting on the next episode. Mm -hmm. Some biofuel, potato seed, bandages, plant fiber, copper ore, dry brick. And we might build some walls here in a minute too. Getting so much brick. Glass. And it looks like that's gonna be it on this house. Go ahead and open up some doors. Probably make some neighbors mad. That's what I do. And where did we need the crate? Pick it up. Let's see, I'm sure there's gonna be some buildings somewhere that off in the hills or some awkward place. All right, I'm gonna close this. I hate being snuck up on. Jump scares for days. And do, 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 do. timber bandage. And a little angry little fox outside. We don't want to mess with him. Let's get nothing we need. And all these pizza boxes, they're gonna have to put they need to put a pizza place in. <laughs> Make it a POI that's I don't know, got some kind of rare new blueprint in it. And glass, mechanical parts, and some Kevlar. And this little house is done. Let's go ahead and open everything up. Kevlar won't go in there, that's fine. We'll put it in there in a minute. So, what else do we have? Some cucumber right here, so I guess we can eat a little bit of the food we've got. Give me the last of my blueprints, please. Where, oh where could you be hiding? Ooh, electrical parts. I do like getting med kits and electrical parts. They're always useful. What about your bookshelf? Anything? No? Okay. Second floor, what do you got for me? Tallow. Uh, I don't see anything on the bookshelves. Some more ore fragments. Uh, is that going to be it? More ore. Going to have a long smelting session here in a minute. We've already got, I don't know, four or five crates full of ore. And those books right there always trip me out. I'm like, that's gotta be something. Uh -oh. yelling at me a while. Two of you. Three of you. Oh no! I what are we gonna do? We're gonna drop y'all like a bad habit. That's what we're gonna do. Now, anybody wanna give me some ore? Something good? Maybe some arrows? No? Okay. You don't want to call for you with me at all today. I see how it is. Alright, we're going to go ahead and move a couple of things around, I believe. So these we're going to chunk. 
because we don't need we can give our chips off for off trees. We will get let's take the seeds out because they're lightweight and we can they stack really really high. I think 50 or so. Uh, that's heavy, so we'll leave it in there. Move the ore around because it's heavy. And yeah, I think that's what we're gonna get to here. We can always drop some sand later if we need to. All right, so this house is done. Um, did I, did I already check these, right? Yeah. So we're on the fourth house already. Hmm, nice. Nice, nice. So many houses. Somebody else wants some attention? Where are you at? You don't stand a chance against me. Ooh, very nice drop. Hmm. Let's move the tallow. It's three, uh, that's three full size iron ore, so it's pretty heavy. Were they protecting anything worthwhile was the question though. It's looking like it's gonna be a no. Looking for the last three blueprints. game where you hiding everything Come here. Nope. getting low on arrows so I definitely want to try to get through a semi fast pace go through you? I thought we had gone through you. It's looking like we did not. Except there's looking like there's no loot in here. Did I just forget to open the doors up? Hmm. Questions, questions. Uh, Alright, I guess it's just going to be limited loot in here. Medkit, bio, more seeds. Gonna have the biggest garden in the world. We've already started increasing stamina, get up to 112. So we won't need too big of a garden here soon. Anybody want to give us what we're after? <laughs> There should have been a door in there. I guess there was not. There's my chest. Oh, here. We did clear these houses, correct? Yes. And big metal buildings everywhere. Wow. This place is huge. Now what can I stack? Not much. Um, I believe we, we did clear this one, right? Yeah. I'm losing my mind. So, to the small house, we go. Okay, I, he I hear you. I don't see you. No, I do. I see your friend back there who didn't want to come play too. Does he want to come play hide the arrow? No. Plant fiber. Mm. Hmm. 
coal will come in handy. We'll use it to, on smelting day. Oh, and we're overweight. Do we have bark chips on us or something? Yeah. And what can what can we eat? Get some of the energy back. Did we clear this big house right here? Nope. He will be next. I do believe I see a blueprint. So what do we have here? Please be the loom. Nope, solar. Solar. Really, really want to get the loom. With the loom, I can pretty much really get everything going that we need. I guess I need to start leaving bark chips and stuff just laying around. Ooh. We'll make. Since that will make room for thee. If I can stop hitting escape for a second. Rinse and repeat until it works. The rope can stay. We don't really need it. We can just bolt craft that from fiber. Alright. The dirty thing, let's go. Let's get out here on the outside table and we're overweight again. How much? 0.25 pounds? What do I not want on me? Need a cucumber, that'll work. Why are we so heavy? Okay. So these should all be good. And we will keep working our way around. Ooh, some fragments. We will take that for later. All right, next house. Biofuel, let's bolt food, and we're overweight. Eat up some more food, it gives a little energy. Wow, we are rear dragon. Let's go ahead and drop all this bold food. I think it weighs like a pound each. So we can make plenty of that. I already got some sitting in a chest being worked on as we speak. Alright, next floor, some bone, bandages. Give me all the useful stuff. Thank you. The biggest reason we need the loom though guys is so we can make the bigger bag so that this weight problem goes away. We'll just have to eat and hope for the best. Because I'm not dragging around slowly. And I do believe we are done with this house. Open that. Open this. I will have to say this village has uh, filled us up quite quickly. Alright, so we did that one, we did this one. Sure, there's some cucumber if we need it. Let's check out these boxes. Oh, I don't see any there. Yeah. 
All right, I'm running out of houses for my last two blueprints. Let's go. Electrical parts. Man, more ore. Oh. We are running out of stuff to throw away. Let me see. Oh. Hey, where are you at? I'm looking at stuff here. Oh my god. Of course he gave he gave us three ore. We will take full advantage. We're about to get rid of some of this glass is what we're gonna do. And then we will do a little bit of rearranging. I did not mean to do what I just did. Get out of here. See the man, bones are awkward. That's five pounds. And then we'll dump this ore in there. Alright, maybe we'll get something done now. Ooh. And there's the loom. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. Please don't weigh me down. We need to find one more blueprint. I'm gonna start dropping coal and stuff here in a second. One more blueprint. Because I really want to keep all the ore that I can right now. So that we can just do some mass crafting. And the rope you're gonna have to stay. We just just ain't got it. Ain't got the room. What is that? Is that just a spot on the floor? Maybe the light below us? And bark chips. Yeah, I can stay up here in the attic. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Put that right there. Pick up a chest. And we're on the move again. But, um, there might be more than one. Drop a chest. Where you at, little creepy thing? Ooh, copper. That's nice. I can't store it either. I just can't do it, guys. We're overweight. And glass, you can stay right where you're at. Fish oil, you can stay there. Ammo fat, we'll take you. I don't really need you, but we'll take you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. food, you can stay. More glass. And it looks like that's gonna be it in this house, so where is our last blueprint hiding? Where, where would I be if you were looking for me? I guess we'll head down to those metal buildings and take us a peek. Have us a little ganda. Do a save in case I do something dumb. Because that is what I do. Alright, so uh, yeah, we checked all these. I feel pretty good about all these houses. running for a second so we can build up a little bit more stamina. Let's take a look at this barn looking farmhouse thing. Dry brick. Get some more. Bark chips. Bone shard glass. This is a nice building. I wouldn't mind building a building that looks like this. Give me some rafters, Dev. Make something nice and shiny. Hmm, looks like we have some more stuff up there. I hear you, but I don't see you. Oh, there you are. And you're gonna turn or something, aren't you? I knew it. I knew it. So. 
Heading on over here. Definitely starting to feel the. Ooh, there's a lot of them. There are a couple of visitors. They thought they wanted some. They were terribly mistaken. We gotta be getting low on arrows now. How are we doing on weight? Ooh. Ew, it's looking bad. Let's head over here. We got Agro, whatever wants to fight. Where? In the world. I know you're gonna walk up right behind me, aren't you? Oh, you're stuck. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, that's not good. Uh -oh. Mobile weight, where are you at? I can't see. We're about to get hit. Uh, oh, there she is. Alright. We don't have anything left to eat, do we? Nope. What is the most useless item that we have? Probably we're getting rid of the rope. And that should give us enough weight to keep truck in. Hmm, did she give us anything? I don't know. Alright, we'll leave the crate here. Go take a look. Still looking for one more blueprint, unless I'm just being dumb. Mm -hmm. There it is. Stove tech. And that guy should be all of our blueprints. Mechanical parts, we want those. So, let's see what we can do about getting those. And then we'll check out this building. Looking like a whole bunch of nothing. Let's put you a wall right here, you know, build you a base inside there. Probably get attacked non-stop, but hey, it's part of the fun. And let's double check. I believe that is every single blueprint in game. That is all the blueprints, guys, and we have completed gathering up all the blueprints. I will now head to this location where I built a temporary small base or remote base, and then from there back to here to the main base. And um, yeah, I keep thinking I hear zombies, but I don't. But this will be the end of the episode five tutorial, and this pretty much is getting blueprints. On episode 6, y'all be ready, that'll be a bunch of crafting, uh, how-tos, and just a whole ton of material all at once. Probably in a pretty quick fashion. Because I'll, I'll go ahead and smelt everything off camera and get everything prepped up. So if, if you like what you see, you know, be sure to uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or would like to see anything, be sure to leave comments below and I will get back to you. Thanks for joining in, guys.